I'm going to demonstrate the proper administration of the INSURE protocol. INSURE stands for intubation, I-N, surfactant, S-U-R, and E for extubation in an infant that is suspected to have respiratory distress syndrome. First, you are going to um, remove your CuroSurf from the refrigeration and warm it in your hand to room temperature. Then you're going to draw up the allotted dose. For this infant, we are going to assume that he weighs two kilos, so we're going to draw up five milliliters of CuroSurf into a vial and allow it to continue to warm to room temperature while we prepare for intubation and get everything else ready. We are then going to intubate the infant and knowing that he weighs two kilograms, we are going to insert the tube, which is a size um, three ET tube because he's between one and two kilos and we are going to insert this after you visualize the glottis, you're going to insert it into the depth of eight centimeters. Okay. And then you are going to bag to assure proper, or proper placement of the tube, check for CO2 detection, and listen for equal and bilateral breath sounds, which both of his little lungs are moving there. Tape, and I'll just bag. Okay. Steve is going to take our bag for me while I tape the ET tube to secure it. I'm going to place my first tape over the top of his lip. I'm going to move the tube to the right side. Take the second piece of tape, which is cut in the middle. Wrap it around the ET tube. Placing the top portion over the infant's lip. And the second portion is going to be wrapped around the ET tube. In a spiraling motion. You're going to attach the additional two tapes in the same manner in opposing directions. Once the ET tube is secure, you're going to attach your vial of CuroSurf to the administration port on the Ambu bag. You're going to administer half of the dose of CuroSurf while the infant is in the supine position, continuing to ventilate until the surfactant is no longer visible in the ET tube. Then you're going to place the infant on his right side and continue to ventilate at a rate of 40 to 60 breaths per minute and a pressure of 20 to 25 centimeters for one minute or minute while you monitor his vital signs closely. You are gonna then return the infant to the supine position, administer the remaining dose of CuroSurf, Cure continue to ventilate and then place the infant on his left side, ventilate for one minute Continuing to monitor the patient's vital signs. Pace, place the infant back on the supine position, continuing to ventilate. And then you are going to extubate. So we're going to remove the Ambu bag. Remove the tape. And gently remove the tube from the infant.